Hi everyone, it's Ray Anderson here and I'm a cerebral palsy athlete on the Australian Athletics team. In this video, we're going to go through a 30 minute advanced exercise program that you can do along with me at home. I'm going to get ready now, so I hand over to Rachel from Helsing who's going to guide us through it. Welcome to our advanced program. This will go for approximately 30 to 40 minutes with our elite athlete, Ray Anderson. You'll only need a sturdy chair, as well as some light weights and a medicine ball or dumbbells, cans of vegetables or filled up water bottles if you would like to add a little bit of extra resistance to these exercises. Ensure that the space around you is clear of any objects. My voice is going to guide you through each movement of the exercise and I'll give you some tips and tricks to help you use the right muscles at their optimal capacity. It is recommended that you have completed our beginner and intermediate program before performing our advanced one. This will enable you to learn a little bit more about the movements of the exercises and how to perform them correctly. Before commencing an exercise program, seek advice from your general practitioner or healthcare professional. If you start to feel discomfort or pain when performing an exercise, try to reduce the intensity or cease the exercise. These videos do not aim to replace any advice you have received from a healthcare or exercise professional. Chair squats. Our first exercise is going to mimic the movement that we do day in, day out. So sit on the front half of your chair seat. Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle and feet flat on the floor. We're going to engage our abdominal muscles and start to lean forward slightly at our hips. If you require some stability when standing from a chair, you can gently place your hands on the bench, rail, frame, or armrest of the chair to assist you to stand up. Press through your heels to raise your body to a standing position, squeezing your bottom cheeks together when standing up. We're going to reverse the movement by sticking your bottom out towards the chair bending your knees and slowly lowering down until you tap your bottom on the end of the chair. Pause for a moment, then we're going to perform this exercise for a total of 10 times. Let's go. Remember to try and keep your back nice and straight as you're standing up and slowly coming back down again. Great work. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're going to perform the chair squat exercise another 10 times. Let's go. Remember, you wanna try and keep your chin up and facing forward throughout the entire movement. Keep your back nice and straight by engaging those core muscles as you're standing up and slowly sitting back down again. Great work. Let's have 30 seconds of rest and then we're going to perform this another 10 times for a third set. Let's go. 
Remember to make sure your back of your legs are parallel to the ground each time you move down. Keep that back nice and straight and keep your chin up. Great work. The second exercise is called leg extension. For this exercise, stay seated on your chair, but wriggle down towards the edge until your bottom is almost off the chair. This is your starting position. Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle and your feet flat on the floor at shoulder width apart. Place your hands on each side of the chair seat. Don't hold too tight, but just enough so you feel stable. Keep your upper body still, head up and facing forward, straight back. Lift your foot just off the floor while you extend and straighten your right leg, where your knee should be straight at the top position, squeezing the muscle at the top of your leg. Hold for a second and then return your foot back to the ground with your knee in its bent position. You should feel a slight squeeze and burn sensation in the muscle at the top of your leg as you're doing this exercise. We're going to perform the leg extension exercise 10 times on your right leg, then switch over to our left leg for another 10 times. Let's go. Now we're going to switch over to our left leg. Remember, when you're extending your leg out, squeeze the muscle at the top of your leg. Great. Let's have 30 seconds of rest and we're going to then perform the exercise another 10 times on our right side, then another 10 times on our left side. Let's go, 10 times on our right side. Great work. Now let's switch over to our left leg. Ensure you're trying to feel the squeeze on the top of your leg. This is your thigh muscles. We've got another few reps to go. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. Remember, if you're finding this exercise too easy, you can grab some ankle weights to increase the amount of resistance that your leg has to kick up each repetition. For this third set, we're going to perform it 10 times on our right side, then 10 times on our left. Let's start on our right side. 
Remember, you wanna try and feel a nice big squeeze at the muscle at the top of your leg each time you're kicking up that leg. Great work. Let's go over to our left side now. Keep that squeeze and tension in that thigh muscle for every time you kick your leg up and down for each repetition. Great work. Let's keep working those muscles of the hips. Stay standing behind the chair, frame or bench with feet hip width apart and your knees slightly bent, lightly gripping the back of the chair. Slowly take one leg backwards, tightening your buttocks muscles as you do this. Try not to lean forward as you do this movement and control the movement as you bring your leg back to the starting position. Remember, it doesn't matter how high your leg can go, just as long as you're squeezing and tightening the buttocks muscle as you take your leg back out and in again. Let's perform this 10 times on our right side, then we'll switch over to our left. Remember, keep your core muscles tight and don't let your back arch each time you take your leg out and then back in again. Great, let's switch over to our left side. Keep your back nice and straight and engage those core muscles with every movement of this exercise. Excellent work. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're then going to perform this 10 times on our right side, then switch over to our left side. Let's go. Try and control the movement as you bring your leg back towards the starting position, squeezing that buttock muscle as you go out and then back in again. Great work, let's switch over to our left side. Okay. Try not to let your back arch as you're taking your leg out and then bringing it back in again. Excellent work. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're now going to perform the hip extension exercise 10 more times on our right, then switch over to our left side. Let's go. Try and keep your back nice and straight and we don't want it to arch as we take our leg out and then back in again.
Great, let's switch over to our left side. Last 10 reps. Excellent. We're now going to get up and work the muscles of our hips. So we're going to stand behind our chair, frame or bench with feet hip width apart and knees slightly bent. Lightly grip the chair back, frame or bench. Flex your right foot and raise your right leg directly out to the side. Remember, it doesn't matter how high your leg can go, just focus on not moving your upper body. Keep your shoulders over your hips throughout the movement. Pause for a second once you've reached the highest point, then slowly lower your leg, tapping your heel to the floor. We're going to repeat this 10 times on our right side, then we'll switch over to perform this for another 10 times on our left. Let's go. Remember to keep your back nice and straight by engaging your core muscles. Great work, let's head over to our left side. Try not to let your hips tilt downwards when lifting your leg out to the side. Great. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're then going to perform this 10 times on our right side, then switch over to our left side. Let's go. Try to remember to keep your back nice and straight by engaging your core muscles. Let's switch over to our left side. Don't let your hips tilt downwards when you're lifting your leg out to the side. Great work. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're then going to perform this 10 times on our right side, then switch over to our left side. Let's go. You may feel a slight burning sensation on the side of your hips as you take your leg out and then back in again. Let's swap over to our left side. Try and keep your back nice and straight by engaging your core muscles.
Great work. Stay standing behind your chair, frame or bench with feet hip width apart and your knees slightly bent. Just lightly grip the back of the chair, frame or bench. We're going to keep our upper body still while we slowly lift your heels off the floor, contracting the calf muscle. This is the muscle at the back of the lower half of your leg. Pause for a moment, then lower your heels back to the floor. If you're unable to do both legs at the same time, just focus on one at a time. We're going to perform the calf raise exercise 10 times. Let's go. Try to remember as you're rising up onto your tippy toes, squeeze the muscle at the back of your lower half of your leg. We're going to have 30 seconds of rest now. Let's perform the calf raise exercise another 10 times. Remember, if you can't do both legs at the same time, just focus on one at a time and come up as high as you possibly can. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. If you are finding this exercise too easy, you can make it harder by holding some weights in your arms to increase the amount of resistance that you have to press up and slowly bring back down again. Let's repeat this for a third set. 10 more times. Remember to keep your back nice and straight by engaging your core muscles. Here's a new exercise for the muscles of our lower body that can also help to try and improve balance. Stay standing behind the chair, but we're going to go side on. Grip the chair, frame or bench gently with your hand that is closest to it. Take one step forward with the leg that is closest to the chair, frame or bench. Slowly lower your body by bending your back knee towards the ground. Your front leg will also bend. You will have a 90 degree angle on your front and back leg or as close as you can to this position. Let's hold here for a second, then push up from your back foot to return to the starting position. We're going to repeat this 10 times on our right side, then switch over to our left. Let's go. Remember to try and keep your back nice and straight throughout the movement.
We're now going to switch over to our left side. So you'll need to rotate your entire body and place your hand back on the chair. Great work. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're now going to perform the lunge exercise another 10 times on our right and left side. Let's go. Remember, you're using your back leg to do all the work for this exercise. Try and get as close as you can to the 90 degree angle on your front and back leg. Great work. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're now going to perform the lunge exercise another 10 times on our right side, then 10 times on our left. Let's go. Try and keep your back nice and straight throughout the movement and you're trying to lower that back knee as close as you can to the ground, then pushing up from that back foot back to the starting position. Let's switch over to our left side. Great work. Ensure you're facing forward and your chin's not pointing down. Keep that back nice and straight throughout the entire movement. Great work. It's time to make that heel to toe walking we did in our intermediate program a little bit more difficult. Stand up straight with a clear path in front of you. This will also be best done along a wall such as a hallway or a bench. Imagine that there's that straight line in front of you extending away from you. We're going to walk along this line on the floor as if you're walking a tightrope. One step in front of each other, trying to get your heel to touch the toes of your back foot. Maintain that balance, keeping your feet stepping in the middle of the line. However, we're making this harder by always doing it backwards when we're coming back to the starting position. 
10 steps going forward, then not turning around, but actually doing this backwards as we go. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're now going to perform this another lap. However, to make this harder, rather than looking straight ahead or down at the floor, I want you to think that with every step, you're going to look a different way. Look down to the floor, then up to the ceiling whilst you're walking down to the floor and up to the ceiling. Make sure you're getting that heel to make contact with your toes on each step. Now you're going to do it backwards to the starting position and include looking down to the floor then up to the ceiling whilst you're walking. Great work. If you've been able to successfully complete all our other balance exercises throughout the beginner, intermediate and advanced program, you can give this single leg stance exercise a go. Stay standing with your legs straight at shoulder width apart. Have the back of a chair, bench or wall in arm's reach and clear any objects around you. Now lean slightly to the side and at the same time bend your opposite knee, like you're a stork. Try and hold this position for up to 30 seconds. Let's go. Great work, if you've been able to complete it on one side, let's try it on the other side. If this is even too easy for you, you can make it even more difficult by bending further, but only within the limits of your mobility. Great work. Try and repeat this for five more times on each side.
Excellent. Well done. You've just completed the advanced program.